you guys. So the first thing we're doing, we have to get bait for the coconut crab traps. What are we looking for? Just any coconut? No, not just any coconut. We gotta get the ones that, when whenever we're choosing coconuts for traps, we kind of go around, look, you know, and you gotta pick out the one that looks real nice, you know, not too uh, wrinkly or anything like that. And on top of that, you gotta shake it at the same time to make sure that you can hear some juice, the coconut juice in there. Right. That makes it the perfect coconut. Okay, so this one has juice. How but many how do we need? It, but how does it look? How is it old? We're looking for old coconut. Old coconuts? Yeah, so this would be a perfect ideal coconut. This one's not? No. What about this one? Shake it, looks perfect, shake it. Just a little bit of juice. So that, um, I'll, yep. This one's perfect. This one? Oh, a lot of juice. There you go, that's it, okay. perfect. How many of these do we need? Uh, we need to grab 10. We'll each trap is one coconut. Okay. So, we need 10 coconuts. Okay. You're a Seattle Seahawks player. Jackson, hot! Yes! Yes! Arrington PK for the touchdown and the win! All right, you guys, so here's plenty of big old perfect crab, uh, perfect coconuts. Now we're gonna go up into that mountain, way up there, set our traps. We were just down on that beach, picking up coconut. Now we take this big, long, windy road up into the mountain, and Mr. Pete wants us to set a trap right here. Kelvin is Mr. Pete's right-hand man. Like, everything they do, they do together. Okay, so what am I looking at here, dude? That is a trap. That's, you see all the husking? Yeah. That's what the coconut crab did. And they come out at night, so, there's no, it's hard, hardly access to coconuts up here. So the minute we put a coconut there, that monster's coming up. So I've been a part of a lot of really cool things in my life. I've never even thought about setting traps or bait sites to catch a coconut crab. Me, I know the place, but for the new person that don't know the jungle, you need to make a So what he's saying is he'll use his machete and make a mark so that on his way out he can always find his way out because I could only imagine how lost you could get up here. Yeah. But we're climbing high into the jungle beautiful, very dense, thick forest here. Just lots of moss and vegetation. And uh, 
be very, very easy to get seriously hurt up here. So he's untying a previous bait and putting in a new one. All right, y'all, the baits have been set. The trap is ready. Well, good morning, everybody. It is 4 a.m. We're back up in the mountain, and now it's time to start checking these bait sites. So with the first bait site, we had one crab. He's just a little too small. On to the next one. That is one of the most awesome crabs I've ever seen. Wow, look how he just totally blends into the rock there. That is absolute, 100% amazing. You can see him taking his claw, going all the way on the inside. Oh, and now he's turning around so I can see his face. How wonderful. Is absolutely amazing. I grew up watching all kinds of outdoor shows like Marty Stalford and National Geographic. That right there is so National Geographic it ain't even funny. I'm like speechless right now. Back into the cave he goes. Look at that. How crazy is that? So this is one of the rarest crabs in the world, but they thrive here in the island of Rhoda. It's called a coconut crab or a robber crab. And this is my favorite person on the island. This is Bims. If you ever got to meet her, you would understand why she's my favorite. She is just the most precious lady ever. And she's gonna cook us up co a coconut crab. What's first thing you do? Coconut crab goes to the hot water. Crab's dead. He's in the water, and then you're gonna boil him for how long? Like 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. The deer meat for dinner and the coconut crab for dinner are right here. <laughs> Brave wilderness. Here we go. If I can get 30,000 likes, I'm gonna let him bite me right on the hand right now. 30,000 likes. PK, think I should do it? Do it. I wouldn't. Do it, dude. Just do I'm it. telling you, I wouldn't. I'm telling you, I'm, do it. I swear. I'm telling you, do it. What's the worst that can happen? You want to see the lighter? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna practice with the lighter. Yeah, he just cracked the lighter. 
Watch out. Yeah. Smoking a cig. Hold on. Oh my gosh, yeah, don't put You can't. Hand. Oh! You're not allowed to smoke! We're about to cook. Yeah, I'm not putting my hand in there. Hey, Brave Wilderness, you want to come try this one out. Come stick your finger in his mouth. Big shout out to my boy Seth McGinn. I wish you were here. And like I promised you, I'm bringing my can cooker junior because I want to cook a coconut crab in this. I was just telling them if you add a little bit of white distilled vinegar to your water when you're cooking a crab, the meat will come out much easier. They've never heard of that, so we're gonna try it out. We're gonna, we've, we're boiling one over there. We're gonna put the other one in here with a little white vinegar. We'll see if there's a difference. Good. There you go. Now we've got a dead coconut crab. I just feel a lot better about that than throwing them in the pot alive and letting them die slowly. That much vinegar. And if it makes a difference, it makes a difference. If I'll not- I'll try that. That's your- Hey, my mom- Magic. Yeah. My mom says that white vinegar cleans your body, cleans your veins, yeah. Love you, mom. In the pot. See how you just want them nice and, nice and submerged in there. Put the lid on, make sure you have your little gasket. Ready to cook. We can put this on a burner, on a stove, on an open fire, whatever you want. You just need a heat source. Ooh, look at that. Now we'll throw our can cooker right on there. Let it rock. All right, now what? I'm gonna clean it up, brush it, to take the dirt out. Reminds me of how I clean an alligator. Always gotta wash it. So what I'm gonna do now is take out the pincher. Is this your first time ever doing this? No. No? Second? It's, it's a lot of time. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make you try another style. I'll just take this because this is the big intestine. Throw that out. Mm, the smoke is killing my eyes. so interested in trying this. Look at that meat. We're looking good in the neighborhood. You ever see this before? Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. We might just leave that just like that. And then take this, go to your flat parts. Look at her, she's snacking on that. <laughs> You like my trick? Yeah. Last time I'm gonna do like that. Ooh, ooh, there you go. Can I at least get a kiss on the cheek? That's all I need. That's all I need, y'all. This? Mm -hmm. 
See, I want you two to try this. It's firm, right? Yeah. Makes it sweet. Mm. Try it up. Mm. Sweet. Holy macaroni. You want to make the camera last try? Yep. Here you go, Johnny. Here we go. That's good. It's like Isn't a mix it? between like blue crab and stone crab. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin tips. Pumpkin tips? Yeah. Just throw it in there? Yeah. All just right. throw it in there. Just do I knew it was a good idea bringing this thing. Is that good? Yeah. Perfect. Where did you learn this? I learned it from my parents. Really? So do you eat this or is this just a garnish? No, we're going to mix it together. Big old fat chunks of fresh garlic. Mm -hmm. Especially it's very sharp. Your knife is so sharp. Isn't that amazing just like that? The onion is diced up. Yeah. We're done. Now we've got a nice dish of garlic and onion. Real wild organic coconut milk. Now she's gonna strain it. Mm. That is like heaven. Crab meat going in a pot. Pumpkin tips going in the pot. Yeah, buddy! Dude, we, school must have just got out, y'all. We got tons of fans coming by. Okay, so now we're gonna just sprinkle in the garlic and the onions. Good. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. Black pepper. I love black pepper. Yeah. Salt. Is it okay if I use my hands? Well, I can't it's okay if you use your hands. This, I swear to you, I'm doing this exact thing with some, either crab or lobster back home. My mouth is about to start dumping saliva out. Now, what do you put that in there for? Look at this, look at you. Mm -hmm. Take all of our prepared pieces, put them right inside there. Take all the remaining juice. And then you're left with that. Good, good, good. Let that get hot and we're ready to roll. Life is good, y'all. We only needed this to, to get hot one more time. My guess is to kill any type bacteria that may be in there. See how nice the coconut crab. 
And now, Can you put the juice? and then we'll just take this. Man, once we put it back in the last time, it really firmed everything out, brought it all together. Mm. 12, that's the 12, as good as it could possibly be. Now, I told you guys, these are some of the rarest crabs in the entire world. But thanks to guys like this right here, Officer Ben, he's part of the wildlife services here. They thrive on this island and they're harvested ethically and at a sustainable number so that we can eat them. It's incredible, man. You guys, Rhoda is an island near to my heart. I just have loved this trip more than you can even imagine. And I wanna say thank you so much to all of you for letting me be a part of your home, a part of your family, a part of your island. You guys, if you have the chance, go outside the box. Go somewhere you never dreamed of. Just do something crazy, because it changes your life. This is a life-changing type trip. I'm so thankful I was able to come. Can't wait to get home to see my beautiful daughters and my wonderful wife. But for now, we are gone.